Hey, this is Ken from Copy Crafters, and we have made a couple changes to our iFill fill and seal machine. Um, we did two things. One, we changed the design after the Chicago SCA show, where some customers said, oh, they like the fill and seal machine, but they really would like it if they could uh, load boxes while they were filling and sealing. And we thought, well, that would be a pretty easy modification, so we've done that. Um, so now this will accommodate um, standard size boxes from iFill Cup, uh, 12 count, 18 count, and 24 count, which works really well because we built a staging table over here. So um, we stage these pods over here, four deep, six wide. So there's 24 in each stack, 72 pods on there. So I got some uh, 12 count boxes in there. So one row of those is two 12 count boxes. The other thing we did is we changed the design so we could break it down for shipping and it cut the shipping cost in half because one of the things we found with the other one, it was just big enough oversized that it almost cost as much to ship that as it did a roaster. So we wanted to go back and correct that. And while we did that, we made it a little bit um, easier to pack into a small box and we really got that size down. Um, so I'd like to show you how this worked. It was pretty cool. There's one little feature down here. Um, underneath the roaster, so the two boxes slide be between these two chutes, and it divides when we flip these out. There are four cups wide. It puts two cups in each box. If you don't want to use that, this actually comes out. There's just four positioning pins that sit in there, and then you can put your bin or bucket right underneath the chute like you did the other one if you want to do it that way. So I'm going to put the boxes in here, and I'm going to go ahead and load a couple of those boxes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and load some pods in here. One of the things I found when you load the pods on the side staging area over here, if you load them with the lids pointed towards you, it makes it faster to take them apart and put them in. Um, that way you can just hold them with your right hand, stage them in there with your left hand. So we'll go ahead and load these up. So you'll notice when we flip those over, it divides them, puts two in each one. So we'll go ahead and load the rest of these. Right now we just have one volume, we're at 2.5 cubic inches on the volume, and iFill Cup has give us, given us um, the measurements for three diff different volumes, and we're going to be doing a whole block set for these so we can accommodate all those different volumes. One of the fun things to do with these is uh, not just do regular coffee, but you can also do Flavored coffee in here, um, get some cacao, some cinnamon, some natural flavors, and uh, spice them up a little bit. We've had customers come up with some pretty creative blends with real mint, mint chocolate. Yeah, so it's actually, it's actually pretty fast. So I've timed myself several times doing this. Anybody can do 10 pods a minute. Uh, it, it's pretty easy to maintain that. If you got really good at it, you could do a little bit more than that. But So there we go. We just loaded two boxes of 12. Um, so if you're doing 24 count, you would just do two rows. If you're doing 18 count boxes, you do a row and a half and uh, Yay, be ready to go. So the new run is already in production and we have some ready to ship. So if you have any questions about it, let us know. Uh, and if not, go ahead and place your order and we'll get them out. Thanks.